Hi, my system has an Arduino powered timer unit adjacent to the boiler. There are basic controls on the box, such as program advance buttons for water and heating, and switches to select timed, permanently off or permanently on scenarios. The system is connected to the local network, and on off times, thermostat settings and other controls are set remotely on a computer, as described in my previous video. This video details some upgrades. Improvements include remote control by a Raspberry Pi with a 7 inch touchscreen, a hardware watchdog timer to take care of any Arduino crashes, and a slimline remote temperature sensor. Inside the box on the left is the Arduino Uno, and on top an Ethernet shield. To the right, well separated from the low voltage components are two mains voltage relays to control radiator heating and domestic hot water. The Ethernet shield has a slot for an SD card which amongst other things stores the on-off times and the thermostat settings. At the top of this view is the watchdog timer. This monitors the Arduino and resets it should it happen to crash. This is the temperature sensor without its cover. It sends the temperature to the Arduino over a digital connection. I have developed the software for the Arduino on a PC, but a Raspberry Pi set up as a desktop is great for writing the Python program for the touchscreen controller. This view shows the Raspberry Pi on the back of the touchscreen. An interface board sits behind it. Here is how the GUI works. By pressing the advance button, the boiler can be directly turned on or off as required. To set a new thermostat value, the temperature is selected from an option menu and sent to the Arduino by pressing an update button. The Raspberry Pi continuously monitors the timer and the display responds as the switches on the timer are operated. To put in a new on-off time, the time required is entered using option menus. A button is used to register the time in the appropriate slot. Another button updates the timer with the new times. Get further information and construction details on my website.